merchandise. It's a weird genre, isn't it? Because it can literally have nothing to do with what the company's all about. I mean, Crayola, mate. First thing that comes to my mind is AM, FM radio. Oh, check out these features. Foam padded headdress. Oh, I've got to sit down, mate. Oh, no, it requires to... Ah! Not supplied. Thanks, boys. Like, it actually looks pretty awesome to be honest <laughs> but the thing is you know if you strip away all the crayola fun looking whatever's what you actually are left with is just landfill this stuff is crap that's where the hearts go it's it's pretty rough <laughs> wait a minute mate don't tell me big companies just put their names on junk and then put a marked up price on it purely for profit Ugh. Goodbye, dog. No, I mean, I think we can agree, like, Hello Kitty is just a humongous brand. It is so recognizable, right? And the money they're just rolling in. Same as Lego, Nerf, right? And uh, you know what they all have in common? They all ship these crappy headphones. Mark of the Beast right here. Every one of these dang things has had these exact headphones, which are a knockoff of Sennheiser MX500s, it turns out. And I already know this is going to be terrible because they can't even get the packaging right. It's a digital MP3 player. We could have worked at that because even the player itself says digital music player and it's got with three tes actor ales into look at this tiny lettering here like flat out i don't even want to read it even if it didn't have a crappy case blocking it oh i'm sorry hello kitty are you not rolling in enough money to actually like look at the product before you send it to see if it's even worth displaying i know these little circles are meant to be their noses but i just see like the little shocked looking emoji kind of thing and then basically this guy's looking like shocked and distressed and it's just raining sadness like again, that doesn't look like a nose to me. It looks like it's exclaiming after being smashed on the head and falling out of the sky. Lecture MP3 numerique. Four gigabytes stores up to 64 hours of music if you're lucky. Four cup but wait. What? They've got all the features lined up one after the other, like it's got heaps, but it's just hopping the two languages. USB mass storage, just store and copy dial files, amazing. So okay, yeah, that's what it's doing. System requirements, Windows 98, 2000 XP, UL Vista. And so, all right, now we're not hopping between languages. Now we're trying to smash them into the same one every time. Well, at least both languages have the same name for the battery, which is, ah, what a friggin' mess. On the same side, it's got continuity problems in terms of how it handles both languages. Why not just get more? languages in there. Bonjour, chaton. I don't speak any other languages, guys. I'm Australian. I don't even speak English properly. Literally, all I do is go into Google Translate, write something in, and then pick a language, and then run with it. Ah, that's wunderbar. Gleich Gertiger fish. Why are you putting includes in the thing? Like, we know that because you said package content. <laughs> This is like a high school project. It includes earphones. Oh, can't wait to blow them up. Instruction manual. And there's a warranty in here somewhere. Oh, and look at this. And now finally, they separate the two languages like, like it should be. Oh, well, at least I got it at the end. Yep, this is genuine. Hello Kitty. Like, this is real. Seikar actually made the device. 2012. Yuck. So, just a guess. I got a feeling when I take this case off, it's gonna look like a giant Tic Tac. That's just my guess. And my famous Toledo scissors are gone, so we have to use these little dinguses. Oh boy, that packaging everyone hates. And scissors I hate almost more. Come on, you idiot. It's, it's just cat packaging. Ow, 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 ow. Come on, hit it. Oh, I miss my Toledos. Stupid junk. Look, they're hopping out. They can't wait to ruin my day. Oh, I found instructions. We'll get to the nugget in a second. Head, behonies. Typical mini USB cable. I've felt headphones like this so many times now. They just weigh nothing. They take me by surprise. Oh, I'm so glad it's got mid number 1331212 on it. Oh, I just wouldn't be the person I am if I didn't know that. Oh, well, at least I offered two different manuals for each language. I mean, that's kind of kind. Why does that one get a bigger JPEG than this one? What, are you better than us, mate? Bonjour. Ah, uh, when you're coming up with something adorable and fun for kids, mate, you gotta have a really catchy name. And these guys nailed it. It's the 50,009 Digital Music Player. Oh, God. I bet you there's gonna be songs about this. It's just so catchy. Introduction. Thank you for purchasing the 50,009 Digital Music Player. You can see the font slightly different, the way they've, like, copied and pasted the number in there because they've probably just got the same manual for every piece of crap they make. Oh, wow, I can play MP3, so high-tech. Wow. These screenshots are genuinely, like, someone taking a photo and then, like, scanning it into a PC. Getting the vibe, guys, and it's just a vibe that this might be a very, very cheap product. Strasvutia. It is privilege to introduce to your face Privyet Kirtunik. Oh, what an honor. I get to peel off this hideous screen protector. 
Uh, oh, no, 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 that's it. Ugh. Oh, take it back. Now it looks really high quality. It weighs nearly nothing. Somehow manages to be scuffed and dirty while also being brand new. Oh, mid number 1331212. Ah, again, I wouldn't be the person I am with that. No, no. All right, you ready for the tic tac? Here it comes. Tic tac. It's a tic tac. It's a tic tac. Look how the controls jut out a little bit. Ew. Ew. Oh, man, that's hanging on by a thread. Oh, it's good. It's got a microphone to yell into, all right? We'll yell into that later. <laughs> if it even turns on. First, I have to accessorize it to fit my personality style. Do I want the Hello Kitty one? Or the Hello Kitty one? Or the Indifferent Fish one? I'm feeling Indifferent Fish. So we put it on careful. Hey. Oh, get in there. Oh, this is built lovely. Oh, it's turned right on. Welcome, hello. What, is half the screen broken? No! It's got the two-tone looking thing like the... Oh, they're, they're just using the same guts as basically all of these. <laughs> hello Kitty, like you don't have two bucks to design your own thing. Music, record, voice, text, oh. Setting. Just one setting. If there's more than one setting in here, I'm gonna be mad. Whoa! That is the smallest thing I've seen on a screen. <laughs> it thinks it's the year 2000. Language. <laughs> now we're talking. This is what this thing's all about. Uh, let's just leave it on English for now. <laughs> Online mode, mate. Let's play some Fortnite. Multi drive, normal only. Uh, normal's fine. Uh oh. It's stuck. Exit. Yes. Exit. Exit. <sighs> wow. It's. <laughs> Can you believe it's not that responsive? It's almost like it's a piece of crap or something. All right, we gotta plug this in and put Scarlet Fire on it. Come on. There. Oh, it appears on the computer as no name. Oh, how personalized. Like they couldn't be bothered naming it Hello Kitty or something. Biggest companies make the worst crap, guys. Power on. Oh. Bluetooth mode. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a while, darling. Auxiliary mode. Oh, that's just stuff. Uh-oh. What? <laughs> Did plugging into a computer kill it? I mean, these book cells are pretty old. Okay. Music. There's one song on it. That's it. Okay, play. Hey. Wow, it's like an MP3 player or something. Bluetooth mode. Shut up. Get off, crap. Get off, get off. Get... Ah, wow, that was easy. You bet you my curiosity's peaking. I gotta see what's in this nugget. Oh yeah, bits falling out already. Oh man, I gotta take my ah! back. Back with the boys. Oh, there you go. It's pretty low buck. Not a lot going on in here. And I've just realized I haven't yelled into the microphone yet, and I do this every time. Which one was it? It was this one, wasn't it? All right, hello, kitty. Just pretend I hadn't done anything to you yet, mate. Can you just, can you just play ball here? Just so I can record something. Okay. All right, I gotta hold it careful. The only way to use it is to pinch it like this and hope it stays on. So, like, this one time, I got this new cat, and it was fully sick. But, like, the problem was he kept biting people. And it was only a big deal because, like, he was doing some big damage, mate. Like, people are losing hands and things. I'm like, oh, this is some kind of crazy cat, eh? I better take it to the vet and find out what superpower he's got. And, like, it turns out it's it's a crocodile. And, like, I, I probably figured as much when, like, he eats a whole chicken, like, every, like, two days or something like that. Oh, he was just a hungry boy, mate. He's too, too days not a cat. Wow, the microphone sounds really cheap. Like you'd expect. Get out. All right, this time I mean you can go back with your boys now. I'm not putting the screws back in because, yeah, it won't need screws where it's going. But before that, mate, we got some headphones to smell. You betcha I got the Corb Mojo ready. It's a portable audio file amplifier for big, stinky headphones, and it just, it's so loud. I always love seeing if we could pop them. Come on. Oh, they're so quiet. Ah, they're so quiet. They, 
They're just so crummy that they basically have no output volume. Well, this is the perfect time to test something. Hmm. Uh, the company iFi reached out to me and said that if I'm enjoying the mojo, that they got something that has way more output power than this. That's literally how they sold it to me. Not the fact that it's a great amp and DAC and all that sort of thing. The fact that it would be a better job at stressing out headphones than the mojo. Bit of context. Like a MacBook Air's headphone jack, that outputs about 50 milliwatts at 32 ohms. This guy outputs 500 milliwatts at 32 ohms. That's like yeah, 10 MacBook Airs. That's the least powerful sounding thing I've ever heard, actually. But hey, if you've heard full volume out of a MacBook and like it hurt your ears, this is 10 of those. Well, when iDSD told me the specs of this thing, I had to get it. So I bought this for myself. This is the iDSD Diablo. And out of that big stinky hole right there, it has 2,400 milliwatts. I don't even want to tell you how many MacBook Airs that is. It's got a battery too. All right, this is when you know you're thinning out the soup a little bit too much. <laughs> I, I haven't tried this yet. I have not tried this yet. Hey! Hey! Oh, they smell awful. Huh, weird. The mojo sounds louder. They're so lousy that they just can't play loud. Even with big amplifiers, they just can't do it. Look, it's these Behringers from last year's, like, crappy headphone cheap whatever video. And, and it's had a bit of a rough time. But I, I want to see what this does. That's weird. I swear the mojo's way louder than this. Now I've made sure to wind this all the way out. And off camera, I, I know out of the balance output it's meant to have even more and I've got an adapter to plug stuff into it but then it's even quieter and yes I've got it on turbo mode so hmm I'm probably doing something wrong I'm sure that this should be like four times stinkier than this but oh well well what an absolute pile of poop this thing is hey and uh, you know usually I give this the old one grit but this guy's like a bigger celebrity than me now and it's kind of like you know I don't want to break it in half and I realize I'm here in the warehouse now which means I can have a little bit more fun look a pitching wedge. You catching on? I mean, it kind of looks like a golf ball. Mm. And anyone out there going, oh, but it's a collectible, it's Hello Kitty, it's like, well, that's what they want you to think. This thing is terrible. It's awful. It's bootleg crap. If I just had this, it'd just be called a bootleg iPod whatever. Nothing redeemable about this thing at all, and I can't wait to send it to its maker. But before I do that, I just want to say thanks so much for watching. Huge thanks to my patrons, especially these stinky names right here, because, mate, $1 a month, I do extra vids. Don't worry, I'm going to give this the old pitch and wedge in a second. But in the after show, mate, we're going to open up another nut. Nugget. Oh, the My Memorex. Oh, it's so sad. Memorex used to be like a humongous name in like audio and whatever. And um, yeah, you believe no one bought this. This is brand new. But yeah, we're gonna open this and have a laugh at it and yell at it a whole bunch. But anyways, thanks so much for watching it, mate. I'll see you next time. It's like a real game of golf, this, mate. All right, six. I just reviewed the slow-mo footage and it absolutely sucked. I'm so sorry. But I mean, it blew the screen right off of it. <laughs> uh, oh, this channel's terrible. I'm so sorry. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, come on, Frank. Give us a yawn. You're teasing me. Don't ignore me. Don't turn around and then yawn. That's what you're going to do, isn't it? Hey, what? I, I'm watching you. All right, see you, Frank. Rude. Rude.